Um, have you seen, by the way, uh, Roy Hodgson has been confirmed as Crystal Palace manager? Yeah. What do you uh, think? I, I'm actually in agreement with Steve Parrish. I think the narrative around Parrish when he sat the, uh, Vieira was actually disgusting. I think there was, there was certain claims maybe of a kind of race element to it or a kind of lack of understanding of, of what Crystal Palace should aim for. No, I think Steve Parrish absolutely knows what Crystal Palace are, what they're capable of doing in the transfer market and where they ought to be as a football club. And that is because of great work by him and the owners, they should be a Premier League side every single season until something mad changes, honestly. Um, and whatever we say about Vieira, I don't think they... I think they were the last team in the league in 2023 to win a game before he got sacked. I think there's goal scoring, even not even goal scoring, because a lot of sides can maybe not score in a couple of games, three, four, five games. They weren't even getting shots away. Mm. They weren't even getting up the pitch. There was a lack of communication. And then there. Hodgson came in and it all changed. They didn't beat it? Leeds. Remember they went to Leeds. Their fans must have been having like the time of their life. Imagine being a Palace fan, worrying about relegation, going up to Leeds, you're thinking this is a six pointer. Yeah. yeah. You're doing a carnival with half an hour to go. Yeah. You're literally spinning your top yeah. round your head. You know, like you yeah. are in the having At the least time. They you're flicking like, the ball around on the left. To At Ellen Road as well. Proper yeah. ground, proper club. You've yeah. gone up there and done that. And that's all thanks to Roy Hodgson. Like, I don't like Hodgson. And I don't rate him as highly as some. But that's kind of personal because he ruined my life. Yeah, he ruined my life at uh, Iceland. He ruined my life twice. Yeah. He literally ruined my life. I, I saved up all of my money to go to Brazil. <laughs> and we were out of the World Cup before we even played our third game. It was a new low for English football. We were out of the World Cup before we even kicked a ball in the third group. I think Iceland was worse. Well, it wasn't worse. We're one of the against Iceland. They've never been in a tournament. But it wasn't worse because it was cumulative. Yeah, but we got it beat happened by after. Suarez. We got beat by Italy. And we got beat by... Costa Rica. Yeah, like, we did didn't well get in that beat tournament. by Italy. Italy went out. Like you, know, you know, yeah, but then we drew with Italy, didn't we, yeah. like, in that tournament? So, no, like, Costa Iceland. Rica went through top of the group. And also... And they did well, but they got to the... Whatever quarters, happened, it? whatever, it's always worse, whatever comes second, because you should have learned from what happened in 2015. That's true, that's true. So... Yeah, yeah. you win that one. So, um, so yeah, I don't... For, for that, I will always be fairly hostile to Roy Hodgson, but they've done the right thing keeping him. They've certainly done the right They're thing. They're guaranteed survival. They're guaranteed survival. They're guaranteed survival, lads. He's, he knows the club inside out. He's a, he knows the game inside out. And yeah, I think you're right. I think they will now survive without any question mark. And you are also right. Sacking Vieira was totally proved correct. Yeah, 100%. Um, I think short terms of in football can be a benefit. Warren Hodgson's only 76, but in football that is old. But the, the, the leader of the free world's 80-odd. He mm. can barely go down the stairs, the yeah. guy. He barely knows where he is half the time. Yeah, no, he's seen now, yeah. Joe Biden. Um, so if, if he can do that and lead the free world uh, during some difficult times, uh, then I think Roy Hodgson can definitely lead Palace a tenth, <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> By the way, you just sat there in the dugout. You pick 4 4 2. Don't you pick 4 4 2, for God's sake. You yeah. get Zaha on the ball and you sit there in your wheelchair, however old you are. <laughs> no, but, you know, honest to God. Um, so I think he'll do absolutely well. And I think the big thing that backs the lot, the likes of Palace, uh, there's a few other clubs that you think maybe even Nottingham Forest from last season, the fact that Luton got promoted, the fact that Bournemouth are still <laughs> sinking the place out, little town Bournemouth, th they're just going to survive, even if they're the worst season imaginable, Palace. They've got three players, Elise, Eze, Zaha. They're just they're going to stay in because of the crap that's floating around in this Premier League this season. Bournemouth. It's a village. It's a village, isn't it? With a few fishing ships. <laughs> like bringing cod and all that. Bringing cod and haddock. No, but honestly, God, how are they still in the... Pre no, honestly, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> fishing ship. Yeah, fishing ship. They go sh uh, fishing. Salmon and all that. Oh, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> you are. You know no. what I mean? That's so good. Uh, mate, I, I, if they're still in the league, you've got a chance. Anyone can stay in the league. <laughs> Them and Luton, that's two places gone. Fair. I, I love that. Um, right, Boovy, what I need you to do now is create a short list of three <laughs> managers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go on, create mate. a short list of three managers who could be the first sack next season. Who do you think will be the first manager sacked next season? Uh, oh, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. Cooper at Forest. If they struggle next season. They haven't really started spending money yet. Have but you seen the Do you know how many managers were sacked last year? I think it was like 15. Yeah, yeah. So anybody is in they're anybody's all, fair game. Apart from Pep Guardiola, maybe Jurgen Klopp, maybe David Moyes because of what he did. Or no, even then, if they're think, 19th next season, he's gone. Is anybody safe? Can we play it the other way? If Guardiola well, is we safe. We said Guardiola, Klopp, Klopp Ten Hag safe. 
Is he? Yeah, he's safe. Wait, why? Man United never sack managers, even as bad as Solskjaer and, and Van Gaal, until they the know Champions they can't League. do it. And you, you, you don't know you're not in the Champions League until April. It's too late. So I think no, that's I, not true, though. You could not know by January. You could you not. You have to be really bad. Yeah. Chelsea knew in January. Yeah. But Spurs didn't know until yeah, April. Yeah, true, true, true. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so two managers you, are you safe. You give me one. I've given you Cooper. Can I put one on the table? But people yeah. don't like. But I'm going to put him on the table. <laughs> Eddie Howe. Really? I, I don't necessarily think it. Yeah. I just could see a world where the expectation has changed, the demands have changed, the ambitions have changed. Eddie Howe will have to change. Yeah. I think that he will probably, he will probably change his level. He will probably ad, ad, be adept at, at managing this different situation. And I think that he will elevate his level. Mm. But he's going to have to. Yeah, like it's not going to be easy. And let's yeah. face it, fifteen managers got sat last year, so anyone could go. I think Newcastle are very, very privy to how they look in the league, how they look to their fans. They don't want to be a Mike Ashley two point with a bit more money. Mm. I think they'll definitely not sack him until the end of the season. Maybe you're right this time next year. And he's not a long term prospect. Maybe you're right. They'd have to be bottom half of the table in January for me. Okay, really right, and they're getting banged by Bayern Munich every week. Okay, so not for me. Not not them. I okay, we've got, got another name for you. Yeah, yeah. Ange Postacoglu. Yeah, he's out of his depth, and he, uh, you know, he is. He, you know, it's a winter sport of football, and he'll be cooking up barbies and all that in the training ground, and and, and all sorts, and and you know, you got you got Harry Kane walking in thinking, what am I doing there? And he's being offered a, a dry burger with some of that terrible burger cheese that you get for barbecues and all that, and you're thinking, what am I doing here? I could have gone to Byron. You know, I had an Octoberfest in 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 the you know in the, in the Bavarian Bavaria. Alps. <laughs> so do you, do you so God genuinely sake. could you see Ange Postacoglu being sacked? Yeah. Yeah, I he's do. worse. Th- he's worse than Nuno Espirito Santo. Mm. Santo's got a legacy in English football. How- however big you think it is, he took walls to the precipice of Europe. He got them promoted out of the championship very, very hard. That's that's legacy in this country. Whatever you say about it, yeah, you're right. Well, it's not very exciting. It's yeah, Wolves. Wolves. Wait, Wolves were in the quarterfinal of the Euro- Europa League. Were they that far? I'm not sure. Yeah, they were in the quarterfinals. Were they? Yeah. Wow. Well, well, that's massive. And they are a big club. Of course they are. But yeah, you know, I don't. I, and just a fi- he's a coin flip. If I've ever seen one. He's a complete coin flip. I think actually both sides are probably heads, and it's, it's a tail situation. I think you absolutely flop. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I think. Uh, what about you? if you're sat there at home and you think you'll succeed? You're 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 gambling. I got another you're name. You're gambling. You. I got another name for you. Yeah, Dice. Yeah, I think I think there was a lack of improvement there. I think he. I think he, he was the least it. worst side. Got away with it. Final day of the season. Wait, he's uh, pumping you, his arms. Do you know what? He got away with it. You know when he came when he went into Everton. You and I sat here, and in the end, you were correct. But we were discussing, will he keep them up? And I said, no. And you said, he will. He's mm. Like, you were correct in the end, but I don't think you were correct in the way that you expected to be correct. Yeah. He, he got away with it, didn't he? He did get away with it. I, I, the only thing I'd say is an extra six months with the players that he wants. With who? <laughs> if he brings a couple in. Mm. You know, I, again, I still think that the likes of Everton and Palace will get buoyed by the fact that Bournemouth Luton still are in the league, Luton are up. Sheffield United are going to get relegated quicker than I can say bingo, in my opinion. The only, the only one is one of the promoted sides. Again, Luton, are they going to be callous with, with, with Rob Edwards? He's a young manager. Will they be thinking, oh, it's our first ever season at this level? Mm. You know, and by the way, if you look at their track record, Luton Town, uh, they, for the last seven, eight years, it's been a, it's been a, a line going up. They've never. They keep finishing in better and better yeah. and better positions. League two, League one. Oh, Luton is. Yeah, so what, the, what, you, what the trajectory is only up. Only up. One season it's plateau, then it's up, <laughs> then it's up, and then it's up. They might turn around and say, "Well, if we're getting, if we're doing a derby here by November, mm. let's uh, let's get rid of Rob Edwards and bring in Nathan Jones." Does a return to the Premier League? Yeah. Who knows? Um, so I think Luton and Sheffield United might might sack their managers if they're really struggling. Might be harsh. That's that's it. I mean, maybe Chelsea. If it goes real weird at Chelsea, Pochettino won't get sacked, surely. <laughs> what if you're okay? October the twenty ninth. Mm-hmm. You're eighth. They can't <laughs> sack him though. They've made a rod for their own back. <laughs> He's only on a two year deal. It's not a long term like you know Potter but they, was. But they can't sack him. They've had four managers <laughs> in one season. <laughs> <laughs> Season's only seven months long, Wait, eight months long. Do you know this time last year, it was too short. Yeah. That just feels like, like we've had so many managers since. Ridiculous, then. isn't it? Yeah. When he was shaking hands with Conte, he's not even yeah. there. Um, any more from you? No, my three are 
Postacoglu, Dice, Moyes, Moyes, Ange, Moyes. and uh, and uh, one. I think maybe Heckenbottom at, at Sheffield United for me. 